I have a full house today. I have four people here working in the property. This is just uh, uh, coming overwhelming. I'm like juggling. I have back here in the background, you can see Jessica and she is the newest addition to the team. And she is uh, doing the maid service, cleaning service, high end stuff. I learned last night at a meeting I attended, I'll link that episode above, over at Catapult, that her cleaning is so good at windows that uh, they thought the windows were new and the builders apparently were cited for having new windows and had to go through all sorts of hoops to prove that they were actually used windows. So anyway, she comes highly recommended. I'm excited to have her on board. Jessica, would you like to give a little blurb? Okay. Hey, you too. <laughs> Okay, so she's working on cleaning out all of these cabinets here in preparation for me to paint. Yes. And working madly away. Behind me are some dangling wires that I noticed when I came in here the other day. I don't think I captured video of it, which is why I'm doing this now. And there's uh, end caps on these wires and we just barely removed a bracket. There used to be a ceiling fan here. And the interesting thing is that uh, the property management company did an inspection uh, just after the tenant vacated the property and went through room by room and they didn't list this as missing, the ceiling fan. So it's gone missing between the time of their inspection and the time that I arrived here in Lakeland. So that means that uh, somebody's been in the property between that time and now and taken the ceiling fan. The interesting thing that Mike, my handyman, pointed out is that there's electrical uh, caps, uh, little end caps put on the wires there uh, of those bare wires. And he has a theory about that which I think is fascinating and he's like only a person who knows about electricity would go to the trouble of putting those on there if they were stealing a ceiling fan. So the theory is that some handyman came through here and stole my ceiling fan between the time that the property management inspected it and when I arrived. So that's another weird thing that's happening here in my property. We have Joe painting again. He's on the last phases. He's working on this uh, nice sandstone tan. Which, yeah, it looks pretty good. I yeah. like it. Here's the nice tan that we're using. He's got his little brush. Nice neutral color that is uh, easy to go on and does a nice cover job. So over here you can see better the tan next to the white. So I've gone with a semi-gloss white on the trim and then you have this nice sandstone tan off to the side. So it looks just gorgeous. In the bathroom I have a new light here in the ceiling and a new exhaust fan that goes all the way out to a roof vent. Those were installed by handyman Mike who is outside right now working on something new that I did not plan on doing, which I decided last night in the middle of the night to do. Let me show you that. Over here, Mike is doing some work out in the carport. We're putting in a new countertop in the kitchen. I just decided last night that I was not okay with the other countertop. Went down to Home Depot, bought this countertop that you see here with the help of Dale, who uh, used his truck with the air conditioning so we could go grab that together. So I had some help bringing it over. Brought it back and Mike cut out the countertop to size, cut out the sink hole. This is a really heavy duty steel sink that he's working on and uh, cleaning it up so it can go back in the hole. And over here we have Dale that is uh, taking a break. He's been just volunteering, helping out. He's been hard at it all day. We started out running errands. He's been out here with sawhorses that he brought over and he's been taking off all the doors from the inside of the house. And what have you been doing with the doors? Trying to plane them down so they actually fit in the holes. Okay. Yeah, they were uh, a little tight and scuffing on yeah. the floor, right? And we're, we're going to get it as best we can. And so he's been hard at it all day. Actually, this is the first time I've seen him sitting down. So was, well, that's probably a good time to get the camera out and, and chat. So. Dale's one of my YouTube subscribers. I guess he's been subscribed to the channel for well over a year and he has a box truck project which I'm planning on seeing uh, here in a few days. So look forward to a future episode where I wander out there if he's open to have me shoot some video. That's all I have for this episode. It's mostly just an update. I apologize for the acoustics and echoes through this entire video. It's just 
the nature of an empty house with all these bouncy walls and tile floor. But uh, anyway, thank you so much for joining me for this episode. Savor the moment and I'll see you in the next episode.